Street Football. A contest for number one in the nation between the Texas Longhorns and the Oklahoma Sooners. This football series started 1900. Great games through the past, like 1971, Greg Pruitt, 216 yards, three touchdowns. At Oklahoma, beat Texas for only the second time in 14 seasons. 48, 27 Sooners in that game. What will happen today as we look down from the Goodyear Cliff Enterprise out of Papamo Beach, Florida, with Richard Daniels out of Burbank, California, at the controls, floating over the city of Dallas that has been thoroughly washed today there are thunderstorms all about the region and we may very well have another one before this day is done Oklahoma will kick off and Texas will receive the deep people for the Longhorns will be Kelvin Epps number 40 and Tony Tillman number 11 and California and the game is off it is Epps at least six yards deep in the end zone and Kelvin will not come out. So it is Todd Dodge coming off a hyper-extended knee last week in its quarterback. Jerome Johnson, 195-pounder at fullback. Terry Orr, 225 at tailback. Bill Boy Bryant, 5'10", 155 wide receiver. And Brent Yuhan to split in. Now, oh, but there's a lot of freshmen and sophomores out there. It goes to the tailback. And Terry Orr sticks his head in the stack and comes away with a yard as the Sooner defense closes in. William Harris, 6'5", 210, tied in. John Stewart, 6'4", 270, tackle. Brian Chester at guard, 6'4", 260. Gene Chilton at center, 6'3", 280. Bruce Blackmore at guard, 6'3", 255. Greg Wright, 6'3", 250, the other tackle. Quite a matchup in the middle between Gene Chilton and Tony Casillas of Oklahoma, the nose guard. Fumble on the play, and a scramble for the football. I think Texas may keep it. Defensively for Oklahoma, it's Reed, Tupper, Casillas, Brian Johnson up front with Miliazzo and Bosworth, the linebackers. Johnson, Rockford, Stanberry, and Brown, the defensive secondary. Center defense now shows the four-man front. Bring the two corners up, and they'll try to cover the potential receivers. Man, give that ball to Terry Orr, and Orr going wide. Can't do it. Just under 42 yards for punt, high snap, handles it all right, gets it away. It's a good high-hanging kick for Derek Shepard back at the 34, slips, loses his footing, and he is knocked down at the 32. The Sooners will come out with Danny Bradley at quarterback at Arkansas Boy, 5'10", 180. Spencer Tillman is back off injury, starting 5'11", 210, and a great one. Earl Johnson still hobbled some with a broken kneecap playing today, and Steve Sewell who is a whacker over there at that wingback position. But Sewell will take you down. He's a good pass receiver, but having Johnson and Tillman in the same backfield for the first time this season was a tremendous lift for the Oklahoma Ball Club this week. And this is the first carry by Spencer Tillman this year. Keith Jackson is the tight end, 6'3", 235. Dillingham at tackle, David weighs 270. Jeff Pickett at guard, Jeff is in at 275. Chuck Thomas, the center, at 275. And the other guard is Eric Pope. Eric weighs in at 275. And Brent Burks at tackle, 6'7 and 270. Ooh, they are plenty big. Second down and eight as Spencer Tillman gained two yards. Steve Sewell goes in motion. Bradley back, looks to throw, has a man wide open. Sewell, pass good. 41-yard line, a yard short. Of the first man, fullback, gets the ball. That is Earl Johnson. And there's the lineup of the Texas defensive people, McKinney, DeGreat, Heathcock, Bronner, Allard, Edwards, and James, and those linebackers are something to watch. Lot, Griffin, Braggs, and Gray. It is a first down for Oklahoma, just beyond their own 42. Bradley goes outside with it, gives the ball to Spencer Tillman, and Tillman shakes a couple of tacklers. You can see right there where it's a first down, all on the Texas side now. Up man Johnson, Matthew, close to the 40. Just short of the 40, second down, six. Bradley straight back, good protection, loops it downfield, penalty flag in the air, pass is incomplete, intended for Buster Rhymes. Against Texas. 
It is first down, Oklahoma. The ball just short of the 35 on the Texas side of the field. We're just getting underway at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas. And the handoff goes to Tillman. And Spencer Tillman at his second down and four. Tillman and Spencer maybe has a yard. It'll be a test for D.C. Third down and three. They're going to run for it with Tillman, and he won't get there. They need a yard and fourth down to keep the ball. The right side of the Oklahoma line looked like it moved. At Oklahoma saying one we saw earlier this year against Pittsburgh. He just pops it up. I think he hit it too hard, though. He did. It carries into the end zone. Well, it's kind of hard. To... In the backfield, it is Rob Morshell and Jerome Johnson now. As Dodge comes back to throw it, the pressure's on. The pass is away, and it is incomplete. The intended receiver, Brett Duhon. Morshell, you got to remember, in a tailback right now, was the quarterback for Texas a year ago. Fred Akers may have him in there for two reasons. One, he may be a little quicker than Orr. Two, he does offer the option uh, pass out of the halfback position. He runs the football third down and nine for Texas from their 21. Dodge goes back to the pass. Trying to set up a screen. Can't do it, and it is almost intercepted. The ball hit an offensive lineman. First punt by Telchik today was 42 yards. This one is angled off to the side, shorter and lower, and it gives Sherbert a little bit of an opportunity. But uh, the it has been raining off and on all day and far. But right now, just a little light sprinkle with Earl Johnson carrying the football, and Derek Shepard has come back into the game now, so obviously he's all right as they set up out of the wishbone on second down and eight. And Bradley's in trouble. Bradley is brought down by Ty Allert, the strong side linebacker, where it is third down and close to 14. Bradley on a delay, hands off to Johnson. Johnson decked at the line of scrimmage. Right through his hands. There's your problem. He slides down, and it's Texas ball at the Oklahoma 26. That's what I meant. Now you've got uh, Anthony Anthony Byerly is in at tailback, number 24. And Byerly has the ball. And Oklahoma has Byerly at the 25. Gain on that carry by Byerly was about a half a yard. Dodge rolls it out. Sets up and goes to the corner. His receiver falls down. And the Oklahoma man had it in his hands and then dropped it. Jim Rockford. Terry Orr drifts into the short range, but Dodge goes deep. He's got a man wide open. Touchdown, Texas. Bill Boy Bryant. Put up in the clouds. The extra point kick by Jeff Ward is good. Penalty flag is flipped in the air. He took himself out of the play, opened up the pass for the touchdown. We'll be right back. There's a penalty assessed against Oklahoma for running into the kicker. Five-yard penalty, and so Ward kicks off from the 45, and it's taken by Buster Rhymes, and he gets some daylight and comes to the 33. From, let's call it the 33 for the Sooners. First down, and Bradley comes down on the option. Flips outside. It's tough to make a cut. Couldn't do it. June James... Second down and about 16. And Bradley rips the pass to the sidelines, and it's pulled down by Sewell. And Sewell tumbles on out of bounds. They come with Rhymes and Sewell now to the bottom of the picture on third down and eight. Bradley rolls it out, gets it away, pass here. Oh, great catch by Earl Johnson. A great effort by Johnson. First down. That's the Texas defense at its best. Quick handoff for the up man. Johnson, Earl Johnson, he may have a cracked kneecap. Second down, six. Same call, same man, midfield. It is third down and three, Oklahoma. Number one, Texas leading number two, Oklahoma, seven to nothing. As we go inside, two minutes to go in the first quarter, Danny Bradley rolling it. No problem. 
All the way back on the 36-yard line, James McKinney. Actually, he's tries to catch this one. He got it all right. And gets it out. Not a particularly good punt, though. Let's see about the roll. Okay. Shanked it out of bounds. With Texas leading Oklahoma 7-0, we pick up the action late in the second quarter. The Sooners have the ball on their own 20-yard line, first down and 10 after a Longhorn punt. Oklahoma goes to work now from the 20 with Earl Johnson and Spencer Tillman in the backfield, and Bradley keeps it, wants to give it away, but Texas had penetrated, and second down as Lydell Carr comes in at fullback. Bradley goes to the tight side of the field and gets around the corner for about three, maybe four, in Tuscaloosa. Well, you got a penalty flag there. I don't know if the Texas man started too soon. Bradley scrambling up to about the 29, but it landed Big Junior out of Waco, and it's offside against the Horns. Went to Carr, and I don't know if Carr got it. He did not get it. First downs, OU has seven, Texas only one. Their first down is good for a touchdown. Bradley pitches that ball out to Spencer Tillman, and Tillman is dropped down. Second down and 10. Bradley going deep. Buster Rhymes can't hold on. And it's third down and 10. Option with Bradley. Outside Tillman. Ball bounces away. Skittering toward the sidelines. And Texas has it. Jerry Gray covers it. Four minutes to play. First half. Roll first down. That's usually what Freddie does. Nope. Go to the eye back, Terry Orr, the big man. Oklahoma 24. Dodge gives it to Orr. Orr is caught and dragged down by number 50, Dante Jones. Third and long. Dodge with a lot of time. Now goes short with it. Brown slipped down. Keith. He's one out of four this year. 15 out of 16 last year as a freshman. Out of foot. Good. So at 2.34 to play in the first half, the top-ranked Texas Longhorns have moved out to a 10 to nothing lead over number two Oklahoma. At ten and a half to go in the third quarter, still number one Texas ten, number two Oklahoma nothing. Texas backed up, ball on the horn two. Let's see if the Oklahoma defense lays its ears back here and goes after it. Remember, it is soggy. It is raining right now. They hand it off to the big back, Terry Orr. He pumps out to a near the five. Second down and seven. They stay with the big back four. Ball's loose. Throw, fumble, a football, and a big stack at the six-yard line. There's a pile of humanity on it, but it looks like Oklahoma. It is Oklahoma's football. Once again, the kicking game is the difference, but when you run in the line of scrimmage, you can see penetration. Who was that on the right side? Must have been Flemings. He was the right tackle. From the seven. Johnson. To the five. Lydell Carr is in at fullback for Oklahoma, replacing Johnson. Over the top it is Steve Sewell, wing backing it in for the touchdown. Extra point try by Lajar is good. And at nine minutes and 14 seconds to play in the third quarter, the Sooners are still in the hunt. It is now 10 7 for number one Texas. That's you did. Couldn't find him though. Full signing, but the kickoff by Oklahoma in and uh, through the end zone. It'll come back to the 20th. Yep. Well, let's see if bad luck follows bad luck to Texas here. And the ball off inside. And or second down 18. Or fair sized hole for him over the left side. Draw play or a pass? Let's see which way they're going to go. Pass. 
Bootley. Number 40 hits him as he releases. It's an incomplete forward pass. And upfield, you've got a penalty flag. They're going to wipe it off Certainly for the same they reason should. they did before. Kelsey. Obisi. Out of the end zone. A 10 to 9 ball game. Now Texas gets, has to punt the ball from the 20, and it will be Oklahoma's ball again. A safety for the Sooners as the ball is snapped out of the end zone by Terry Spielhammer. One thing you try to teach your son of, roll it back, but don't ever snap it over his head. You can do anything but that. Fourth quarter, 20 to 10. Buster Rhymes and Derek Shepard are deep for the high-hanging punt. It's into the win, and it's short. And a fair catch is called upfield and fumbled and then picked up by Shepard. They're going to mark him down at the 28. Great Adam. Earl Johnson and Spencer Tillman. This is Johnson. And from the 29, Ohio State's gone ahead of Illinois, 28-27, after being behind at one time, 24-7. Second down and eight. They stay with their ground game. They're not rebuilding, they're just reloading, and they're still pretty good. They, this turf has changed things dramatically. Bradley back. Whips it out here. His receiver, so falling down, catches the football at the 40. And went on to beat Oklahoma 28-7 and claim the national title. Earl Johnson and Spencer Tillman. This is Tillman. Tillman, of all the running backs on the field, Carr is the fullback. That's Tillman again. He weighs 210 pounds. Either team to go all the way. 48-yard line. It's third down and two for the Sooners. They give the ball to Tillman, and he pops it. Tried to cut back as Jerry Craig. Tillman is out. Collins is in for the Sooners. The ball is just inside the Texas 41. Give the ball to throw back. Carr. Whack. Well, that's cool. Steve Sewell, carry on what you're saying. Third, five and a half. Bradley loops it up in the air. He's got Sewell downfield. He caught it. And it's good. He had a foot inbounds at the 11 of Texas. Children is back. Outside goes Sewell. Touchdown. going for two. Bradley wants to throw it, loops it towards Sewell, off his hand, incomplete. Stephen Braggs came over and got a hand on it, and even though Steve Sewell was able to get his hands on it, he could not hold it. In six minutes and 12 seconds of the third quarter, Oklahoma has scored 15 points, and they lead by five a view or perspective of the kind of weather we've got in Dallas. It's second down, long eight for Oklahoma. They're on the Texas side of the field now. There goes Spencer Tillman. Boy, those quick feet. Seems remarkable somebody could gain 100 yards on a day like this. Gain 100 yards against Texas on any kind of day. Tillman again, splashing over the left side and going for the first down. He would be walking gently. <laughs> He'll be slow. But how he is before. Need to go back to Barry Switzer's comment at the halftime. We're going to run right at him. That is music to the ears of an offensive lineman. Boy, you talking about recharging the offensive line. Say, hey, fellas, we're not going to finesse them. We're not going to have to pass block. It's up to you to knock them out of there. And they've done a credible job moving the ball once for 70 yards and a touchdown and on this drive. Trying to keep it inside where it's safest. That better is in at fullback now for Oklahoma on third and eight. Bradley, down he goes. Number 63, Tony Edwards, the linebacker. Penalty flag. It's a good kick into the wind. They've got a chance to kill it now. Takes a big bounce and goes on through there and his ball right back here. Yeah, but it's a penalty flag up here, and they're talking now. And here's Texas now, first down from its 20, trailing by five points with 6 8 to play in the game. A first down pass by Dodge, trying to set up one over the middle. He's got it. 
And the pass is caught by William Harris, the tight end, and Harris, second pass completion of the game for Dodge. 547 to play. Dodge pitches the ball back to Kevin Nelson. Nelson finds a little daylight. A lot of daylight. Oh, a whole lot of daylight. It's a foot race. And he's out of bounds. Thrown out around the four by Andre Johnson. He's at the Oklahoma two. Terry Orr. Back in at I back. Second down and goal. At the Oklahoma one, it's four. No, sir. They deny it at the line of scrimmage. Two downs to make one yard for a national championship potential. Third and goal. Four. He didn't make it. Nope. And he didn't make it. Great second effort. Nelson, who made the big play, that gave them this opportunity to regain the lead. I wouldn't be surprised to see him get the ball. He's got it on a sweep right. Oklahoma's bringing him up. They got him. They got him at the three-yard line. Can't cut, Keith. Nope. No way to cut. Didn't have a chance. A gutty defense. They got the Sooners. They're trying to pin him down now. The ball is on the three. And Danny Bradley, the quarterback, just takes it and wedges out. Never forget the play of the linebackers. That was the key in that one. The key in this one, too. Uh-oh. Oklahoma should stay in the huddle until second down 11 inside the three Bradley just hanging on to it I believe they'll give him a safety right here if they don't make the first down they don't now the big question for Swifter there it is so they gave him the safety to make it a 15 to 12 ball game, but again, it raises the other specter that a field goal could affect the tie. But would Texas go for the field goal, Keith? A 22 and a 21. Well, he got a good one. Kelvin F. Comes back to the 44 and 204 to play in the ball game. They send Nelson wide into the slot, give him three wide receivers. And Dodge back. Throws it short to his fullback Johnson out of the backfield. Johnson makes something out of nothing. Ball squirting loose. He called it dead, though, Keith. He but called it dead. dead. It's been called down. Uh, one him. Now Johnson hits him first. It, oh, boy. That 42, ball is... 42, Paul Miliazzo. Miliazzo. The ball was loose. Texas. And it's second down and seven. Dodge back. Down the middle. Off Harris. Cannot pull it down. Just off his fingertip. Dodge gets it off in a hurry, and it is incomplete. And penalty flags are thrown, and I think Oklahoma may get dinged here. With on the defense. Now it's at the Oklahoma 41, 15 to 12 ball game. Oklahoma leading, minute and 15 to play. Todd Dodge to the sidelines, can't grip the ball. But he's been a little bit erratic this year. They need at least 15 more yards, though, to give him a fair chance at it. Todd Dodge looking and looking and looking. Now lobs one, incomplete. Third and 10. They need one here. Little lob over the middle to Terry Orr, and Orr is short of the first down by a yard, maybe two yards. Defense, offside, but it's still third down. Oh. They will not stop the clock on a penalty by the defense. Third and five. From the 37, Dodge. Gets it off over the middle. Harris has got it. The tight end's got a first down at the Oklahoma 21-yard line. What You've got 34 seconds to play in the football game. So he can get a little less noise ringing in his ears. He's got to throw the ball out of bounds. He throws and completes the... No, it's not good. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Brown is their key man. Harris the tight end. Little boy, Brian. They come this way with it. Pressure's on. Todd just passes away. And it's caught by Bryant at the 10. That could be another first down in 19 seconds. 15-12, Oklahoma. 
penalty flag down as Dodge zips it out of bounds and kills the clock. Academic here. It's the time that you're worried about in the yardage. It's only start on the snap. Quarterback sack here, though, and they might be out of field goal range. He puts it in the corner of the end zone. And it is incomplete. Oh, boy. He's just going to fade over towards the boundary and throw it up. Johnson goes up. Woo. Sandberry did catch the ball, but now they're trying to decide whether he was in bounds or not. Apparently he was out of bounds. Didn't have control with one foot in bounds while he had control. 32-yard field goal. That equals his longest of his career at Texas. 32 for Ward. One for one from that distance this year. The snap is high. The kick is up. It is. And time runs out. And it's a 15-15 tie. The Ward from 32 yards makes his second field goal of the season at that distance. And all of the heat that any kitchen could put on the young man. And he delivered it. And the Oklahoma players have just absolutely collapsed on the field in disappointment. Number one and number two met at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas and they finished even. 